Over the summer, a group of New South Wales Police Academy's most elite recruits were assembled into a squad and sent to Fraser Island on a mission to target minorities across the state border. The members of this prestigious crew include Captain Fuckhead, Pasty Foreigner, Cunt, At Floggin' the Fish, Cunt Who Leaves, Diversity Quota, and Tim. I'm just happy to be here, really. Good luck, boys, on your mission out into the bush. Fuck man, it's so good. It's finally holiday time, you know? We've just been spending so much money and not even broing out, really. We even had a fight one night. Yeah, that was a bit of a kerfuffle, all right? I'll admit it, that was a bit of a kerfuffle the other day when we were trying to fucking go to an Airbnb and fucking, we are all just a bit fucked, you know? We are all a bit loose and whatnot and we tried to put in the code and we couldn't fucking figure it out to kill it. Like, we couldn't do it. And then, um, fuck, Josh and Howard just started fucking, <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. One thing led to another. It was almost a fucking punch on in the fucking patio of someone. Fuck them. They don't know shit. Bro, I know what I'm doing when I'm driving on the sand. They can't, they, what do they know? Yeah, it's fucking sick. It's, oh, we did some oh, gnarly stuff. We nearly got bogged at the very beginning. That was real bad. The tides were coming in. Fuck, that was pretty wild, but I had my boys Henry and Ryan helping me out, then Tim and Lockie came back, saved us. Some cunts did ditch us though. Tom McKenzie, Oliver Nutt, and Tom Havard. Fuck, they just left. They got all the recovery gear, all the fucking... Uh. Josh is driving sucks, cunt. It fucking... Josh can't fucking steer straight. He just... He's, it, like, that's not driving, bro. That's fucking steering, like, turning. You're not turning when you're going straight. Josh fucking... I'm sorry, Josh, I love you, but you suck at driving, cunt. Like, it's that simple. Woke up feeling like an absolute zombie. Reese was going back to Sydney. I took my chances, I needed to sleep, and that's what it is. I did, yes, I did regret it, but I mean, I needed to sleep. I Lockie unfortunately had to leave the group again by not one, but two boats, in his words, to get some sleep. Fuck that kind of <laughs> hey, alright, actually, question Mackenzie. Who do you reckon is the best cook on the trip? You. <laughs> Out of all the boys, who has the best smile? Thomas Havard. Really? Hey, yeah. What? Yeah. Is there anyone in the group I have a beef with, beef with right now? Mm, yes, I'd say Havard because he's a f been just he's just not responding. He can't multitask. He does one thing and he can't fucking talk to you when he's doing anything. Mm, Havard never answers anything when you fucking say it to him. You have to say it eight times. Then he'll look at you, look back at what he's doing, and then you have to say it twice more. And then he'll finally say whoa. And then you have to say it a following time to finally just get the answer of yes. Go cool. have out a generous person. Yes. Actually, no, fuck that guy! By the end of the trip, do I think everyone's still gonna be friends? I fucking hope so, yeah. I mean. Fuck, no? I don't know, dude! Fraser, it's gotta be better because we're stuck together, so. What could go wrong?
fuck, bro. It's Trot City. Got to get around these lats, bro. I'm running out of sunscreen getting around these things. You keep playing where you shouldn't be playing. And you keep thinking that you'll never get burned. Ha! I just found me a brand new box of matches. Yeah. And what he knows you ain't had time to learn. <laughs> These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. I've all crashed. I've all crashed like an idiot. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What a fucking donut. A silly mistake like that. You're a fuckwit. <laughs> Everyone else was just fucking looking. And I was just driving. So how could it be my fault? <laughs> Did you see him? He fucking came up, reversed over, and then there was like these two divots that went down to like come in and the sandbanks are here and he just fucking popped his car down inside the sandbanks. Fuck. Silly cunt. Silly cunt. Mate, it was so funny. Havot had so much egg on his face today. He was literally like, he looked like a bridge between like two sand dunes that was there for literally no reason. I don't know how he got so stuck. He was the most stuck I've ever seen a car. And the boys had to save him, obviously. We fucking shoved his car up the hill. He wasn't even driving. The wheels weren't turning. We just fucking pushed it up. It's the power of the boys without Havard. <laughs> Fucking hell. I have to carry the- My shoulders are fucking sore. See, the drops down on either side. They're, meant, they're, they're here right now. They're meant to be up here. Fucking hell. Carrying these cunts on my fucking shoulders. They get breakfast. They get dinner. Lunch. Fucking in the fridge. Lights on. What, do you want to be stuck in the fucking dark? What the fuck? You keep lying when you ought to be true then. And you keep losing when you ought to not bet You keep saying when you ought to be a champion Why don't you put the fucking camera down and actually do some hard work for once, can You use this fucking big ass These boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do it was then that Bale Master Lockie arrived via Dingo with vapes in tow. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong for the fresh cadets, as they have had a tragic drop in ketamine supplies. It's all gone. Get there, and I'm like, I'm not giving anyone a vape till I fucking get my money. Get there, and they're fucking these vultures are just, give me my vape, give me my vape, give me my vape. Do you really want to bring that up with me? Because I'm one of those, one of those, you know what I mean? Oh, I want to kill Lockie. <laughs> I want to fucking kill him. <laughs> We waited a whole fucking week for a vape, comes up, so no nick, and then we're all fucking begging Josh for a vape. But I'm like, fuck's sake. So I give them all their vapes, I get a bit of money off Ryan, a bit of money off Ollie, and then Mackenzie doesn't even fucking pay me, and then has the fucking audacity the next day to fucking, when there's reception, to be like, no, nah, no, nah, there's no, like, we'll pay you the next, I'll pay you tomorrow, and I'm like, Mate, I'm down 180, just fucking pay up. Ah, oh, fuck, if I had the chance to fucking leave Lockie on the island, I would. Honestly, my thoughts on it are, they do have nicotine in them, they're fucking gun pods, they're pretty weak, but I'm pretty certain they have nic- <sighs> The nicotine and non-nicotine vape situation is fucked. We have waited since- We ran out of vapes on the third day of being on camping. We waited five days going, okay, well, fuck, Lockie and Tim are going to come back down. We can get them to bring us vapes down. They get vapes from the Gold Coast, $45 per vape, and then we get them, and I'm hitting it, I'm going, oh, this is sweet, this is sweet. After an hour, I'm going, this is not fucking nicotine. And it wasn't nicotine. I've told everyone that, and no one believed me, and now everyone's just, like, starting to clock it. I'm trying to do the boys a favour, and I get fucking outcasted for it. It's like fucking hell, boys. Like, what do you want me to travel down to fucking Sydney again and fucking go grab you some fucking I gets? Like, what the fuck is this? I'm, I'm in Cold Coast trying to fucking figure out where to get a vape, and I bring back some goods, and the boys are fucking complaining. Like, just fucking cop it on the chin and relax. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things, you know. I just have to find the fucking scraps from my fucking campsite that I've been hiding from everyone. <laughs>
Okay, so the vape situation with the nicotine, no nicotine thing has been a real toss-up. Because sometimes I feel like, and I, I get it, like I hit it, I hit it, and I get it. But then I think to myself, is that maybe just because I held it so long and I was just holding my breath so long that I was then depleting my oxy like brain of oxygen? I sit on the side that is, no, Nick, I'm not satisfied. I'm never satisfied. I don't give a shit, bro. Fucking just stop smoking. It's not good for your lungs. What does it do for you? Honestly, nothing. At this tense point in the journey of our young recruits, Josh is the only man left with a vape. Tensions could not be higher. I guess you could say things are getting intense in the tents. Ahaha. Tidal Every room. day Tidal of this room. trip, Tidal I've been room. cooking the food, Tidal I've been gas bottling, and, and you're done now. Where's the light off? Just pass back, Lucky. Can't wait to take. Give me a fix. Just say you're a good guy, but. Actually, no, give me something. Why not? No, not at all. Good kid, wrong path. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry Josh, I'm a good kid, just the wrong path. Ollie and Mackenzie have been fucking hogging my vape, so I'm a bit ticked off about that as well. Oh fucking Josh Soler is power hungry, alright? And they're not nicotine, so now we're all stinging off Josh, and Josh is starting to get fucking really pissed off. It was just a crown on top of his head, you know what I mean? Like, he just fucking started getting so ego about it, like, just wait for me, and then everyone was like, So Josh, it's his vape, we all understood that, but he had a system where if you did something bad or you crossed him or whatever, he would ban you from using the vape for about two hours, six hours, or even a day. Am I planning on getting any revenge? Maybe. <laughs> I feel bad, but we need our fucking Nick fix. It's, yeah, it's... The recruits were falling apart. One individual was left to do all the cooking and all the cleaning. And he didn't get no thanks. No thanks at all. Pas part de la route, faudrait voir, faut qu'on y goûte des méandres au creux des reins. Tout ira bien. Le vent Even the strongest members were starting to waver as they fell apart one by one, turning on each other. It seemed only one being could pull them from this pit of despair. Who could that be? There was no hope, no end in sight. The boys full of despair, it seemed the camping had gone awry. Only the Ket monster could sniff out the boy's lost Ket. 
Yet, he was nowhere to be found. Caresser la mitraille, cette plaie qui me tiraille, ne pas les des autres jours. Hier et demain, le vent les porta. Man, I love cat. Cat, 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 cat. Get monster, get monster. Man, I love cat. Cat, 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 cat. Get monster, get monster. What does it do for you? What does it do for you? Cat, cat, man, I love cat. I'm a bit ticked off about that as well. What does it do for you? Honestly, nothing. I'm just happy to be here. Ce parfum de nos années mortes, ce qui peut frapper à ta porte, l'infinité de destin. I'm just happy to be here. And then our finest recruits did ketamine until the sunrise and joined together once again as a true squadron, ready to tackle Sydney's most ethnic minorities.